Sometimes in life we run out of our core essence which means that we can't continue and who we are becomes depleted such as our inspirations, motivations, passion and hope. And we become darkened by situations and experience that we endure, perhaps and most often at times are out with our control. When the Prophet Yunus salam was stuck in the belly of the whale, his whole surroundings were darkness. When the Prophet Yusuf salam was stuck in the well, again it was the same situation. But both Prophets went on to achieve immense goals in life. When we are in those situations, we must be reminded that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is simply redesigning who we are internally into who we really ought to be. And these obstacles are tests that are set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon ourselves. Imam Ali radiallahu anhu said that we are the sickness and the cure. And when we think about these obstacles in life, they mainly come down to three categories, people, places and activities. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple strategy to help you overcome the obstacles in your life. So what I want you to do on a piece of paper in your notepad is split your page into two columns. On the top of one column, write the word positive and in the top of the other column, write the word negative. Now on the left hand side, I want you to write three words, people, places and activities. Now what this allows you to do is that this allows you to identify who are the people in your life that make you feel positive about your Iman or make you feel negative. What are the places that you need to go in order to feel positive and charged and good about yourself and your Iman and what places make you feel negative and dampen your spirituality. And finally, activities. What activities do you do that make your soul feel good? And what activities dampen your spirituality and the fulfillment of your ruh? This exercise not only allows you to define your obstacles, but it gives you a snapshot picture of the people that you need to be with, the places that you need to be in, and the activities that you need to do in order to help you feel good about your Iman and your spirituality. And inshallah, what I would like you now to do is this exercise so that you can overcome your obstacles, not only in Ramadan, but out with Ramadan as well.